So, yeah. I mean, uh, expanding from that, so what what are your personal reasons why you mm. kind of wear a headscarf, dress modestly, etc.? Like, what do you? Yeah, I think reasons. I think obviously everyone has their own personal reasons. And yeah. For me, um, I wear it in an effort to get closer to God, in an effort to. It is definitely a symbol of my faith. Mm. Um, and I wear it because it's been prescribed for Muslim women. So again, it helps me in that spiritual journey mm-hmm. that each woman, each man has yeah. um, for themselves. <laughs> Was that something you kind of started when you were in, as a teenager? Or like when did that journey start for you? Yeah, so um, I started wearing hijab in university, mm-hmm. um, not through kind of my formative teenage years. Mm-hmm. It was definitely a choice yeah. to start um, and it was never forced upon me or said, oh, you know, when are you going to start? Are you going to, etc." cetera. Um, yeah, and not in the States, there are not that many hijab wearing women. Yeah. I went yeah. to a university where there were um, maybe five others oh, right. out okay. of um, a population of about 2000 so okay um, yeah very few then <laughs> <laughs> very very few um, but it is definitely a personal personal decision and yeah I'll leave it there <laughs> yeah yeah no I mean I definitely echo the same sentiment um being of a co- like kind of convert background not kind of I am a convert background mm. um I think part of the spiritual journey and trying to get closer to God yeah. and trying to find um, a nearness to him that I really sh- kind of sh- you struggle with because you don't being coming mm-hmm. from a sort of more atheist background in terms of the household I was raised under was an atheist background. You had no idea of how to find your footing and what mm-hmm. direction you should go and tr- how, where to even find information. Mm-hmm. Um, but slowly, slowly on that journey, you know, um, trying to get closer. And uh, I kind of, I try to model myself on other religious figures, like other women who yeah. seem to ha- get a close connection with mm-hmm. God, like um, Mary, the mother of Jesus, mm-hmm. for example, uh, and kind of mirroring, mirroring that at the time. Yeah. Um, made me kind of inspired me oh maybe I should like wear a headscarf and see how it goes really it's kind of like try, yeah. trial and error um but I f- I felt the impact was like nearly immediate like spiritually speaking mm. um it brought me much closer to God I was much more focused in my mm. prayers and in everything I was doing yeah. and actually in the wider practice like people's um behavior toward like around me wearing the headscarf has Mm -hmm. been quite refreshing um i mean i've got a few funny instances but i don't know if you like how have people reacted with you like in the uk versus us was there any difference like Um, working the uk is definitely more diverse (sighs) yeah but it goes back to those those principles that we were talking about in the beginning that in the us you are free to practice your religion as you see fit as long as it's not harming anyone else um, I think yeah. post 9-11, there was definitely more, um, I don't know, negative attitudes towards the way that I chose or mis- Muslim women choose to practice their faith. Yeah. Um, but I, I never experienced anything overly negative, actually, which okay, is surprising, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> when I say that, people are, are quite shocked. But um, yeah, I, it has instead of um, being a negative thing for me, yeah. I really feel that it has empowered me to just let go of so many insecurities yeah, yeah. and just to focus on um, my internal journey yes. and my yeah. internal qualities as well. I think that's something that's repeated quite often, but until you actually live it yeah. and yeah. You can, you can, I can say it wholeheartedly. Um, yeah, myself. definitely. Yeah. And it forces you to kind of focus inwards and kind of turn yeah. away from materialism. Mm. You know, I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with, you know, dressing up or buying nice clothes and things. But yeah. the focus, you know, within religion is actually trying to, to turn away from the things that will distract you from God. Yeah. So um, wearing a headscarf and is like a physical reminder and of trying to turn mm. you away from the things that will distract you yeah. from God, essentially. So... Um, but yeah, I, I found, because obviously like growing up, I didn't wear a headscarf in my yeah. kind of youth uh, going into late teenagehood. So I became a Muslim when I was 20. So I didn't wear a headscarf until mm. I was like 20, um, like 20, turning 21. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, so there was, there was a big difference, actually. It was more of yes. a, 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 a side effect, nothing negative, but it was, 
a side effect was that, you know, you don't get as much uh, attention in terms of kind of sexual attention and stuff like that, which mm. is stuff that I, you know, most women would absolutely hate going down the road, catcalling, all of that stuff, mm. which is a massive problem in mm. the UK, massive problem. Um, and uh, and that kind of like immediately stopped essentially. And it was a really nice side effect. Um, I would say there, there were a few like funny instances. I remember as a medical student, um there's one actually i'll tell you it was quite a funny story it was um uh so i was as a medical student going to going to my placements in surgery mm -hmm. and in some of the surgical placements you're not allowed to wear a headscarf because mm -hmm. it's kind of infect infection control yeah. etc so so i wore my scrubs and you know my loose blue scrubs and whatever and then i wore like a double cap so my hair was still covered but nobody could tell that i was muslim mm -hmm. and the surgical registrar who i was working with was um he was being a, a little bit inappropriate um just to give me <laughs> minimal details but he was being a bit inappropriate a bit too jokey um with me and then it was and then afterwards when we had a teaching session run by him i yeah. came in with my headscarf and he was just looked at me he was just like <laughs> he just look, looked down and was just like oh my he looked looked visibly so embarrassed yeah. and he just like would not look at me throughout the whole like teaching session and and all that it was it was quite funny because of the difference it that shouldn't it does. be that way should it <laughs> like he should have the same i mean the fact that he yeah. immediately put you into a different category yeah <laughs> is not right is it like he i mean yeah. it speaks to a lot of things about the male gaze and our culture yeah. in general but we've gone through our reasons personal reasons <clears throat> and somewhat based in theology as well but yeah. it comes down to the fact that it was our choice and yes again it's our right and yes. that is what is being um taken away yeah, trampled on <laughs> in, in <laughs> france if you take away the theological <clears throat> you know it's a piece of fabric do women have a right to dress yeah the way they wish whether they root it in wanting to attain nearness to god mm. and righteousness or not because some women don't some women wear it as a political statement or um as a form of feminism and culturally even we, do, yeah. we can take, yeah if we take away um, and we, if we realize that everyone has their own reasons and we cannot paint an entire populace, an entire religion with the same brush of um, hijab equals subjugation and oppression, you know. Absolutely. And you can't then <laughs> dictate what they should wear. Exactly. <laughs> like when we're apparently we're supposed to be oppressed, but you're not allowed to. You're forcing us not to wear this. Anyway, the debate goes on. Yes. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that was an interesting, lots of interesting videos. Mm. Um, I think we might end it there. So, um, I think in the next, the next, um, kind of episodes coming up, we'll, we're not going to cover necessarily the same topic, but we'll see, we'll see what comes out in the media and the news and then <laughs> kind of decide uh, from there on. But thank you for coming in and for chatting about this, um, specific, uh, topic, um so yeah thank you for joining us um hopefully it won't be too long until we get another video out um do subscribe and do comment in the box below and and hit that bell notification as well so that you can get a notification whenever a new video gets posted um so otherwise thank you peace be upon you <laughs>